Oh, I mean, that 9% true. pay gap, that's a gap between median hourly earnings yeah. between men and women. But that multiple, exists. Yeah, but there's multiple reasons for that. One of them is gender, but it's not the only reason. Like, if you're a social scientist worth, worth your salt, you never do a univariate analysis. Like, yeah. you say, well, women in aggregate are paid less than men. Okay, well, then we break it down by age. We break it down by occupation. We break it down by interest. We break it down by personality. But you're saying basically it doesn't matter if women aren't getting to the top because that's what's skewing that gender pay gap, isn't it? You're saying, well, that's just a fact of no, life. Women aren't necessarily matter. going to get to the top. No, I'm not saying it doesn't matter either. You're saying, I'm saying there are multiple life. reasons for it. Yeah, but those reasons, why, why should women put up with those reasons? Why should, why should women, women be content not, not to get to the top? I'm not saying that they should put up with it. I'm saying that the claim that the wage gap between men and women is only due to sex is wrong. And it is wrong. There's no doubt about that. Pay gap has been debunked many times, but remains a talking point for modern feminists here in America. What Iranian feminists are fighting for seems completely different than what American feminists are. But it makes me wonder, is it possible to live in a society where there is no inequality? What do you think?